What's up everyone, here we go with another motherboard unboxing, this time mining motherboard. And this is not a mining motherboard uh, like the other ones that are specifically made for mining, but definitely you can use this motherboard for mining. The price of this motherboard in many stores, not New Egg, Walmart, Best Buy, and other places, Amazon, is $99. Uh, but I got this from Micro Center, which was $99 plus tax, approximately about $110. And the thing that this motherboard has, and the advantages of this motherboard, is that this motherboard has four PCIe slots, and uh, that is very good. And plus, it has one PCIe four slot, uh, which is able to transfer lots of data. And what you can do with this motherboard easily, you can have a, a 7 GPU rig and with a little bit of tweak, you can have an 8 GPU rig with this motherboard only for uh, $99. And that is the great option. I will tell you how and why. Um, the first way that you can do this is that the first slot is PCIe 4 and with PCIe 4 uh, depending uh, if you have integrated graphic or you don't have integrated graphic you can uh, split this first rail PCIe 4 into two, 4 PCIe uh, by that you can connect 4 GPUs to the first slot without compromising any hash rate. So you get the exact hash rate. I tried this and you can see that in one of my mining rig videos uh, where I use this motherboard. I tried, I connect 4 RX 6600 XT even with overclocking I did not get any reduce in hash rate and I was getting an stable hash rate of 32. So that's a good news. Uh, what you have to buy uh, is the PCIe 124 PCIe Express. Uh, you connect it through time 16 slot on the first one, which is PCIe 4, and then you have four USB ports where in each USB port you connect your riser, and you there you go. You have four GPUs connected into the first slot. Moving on, you have three other slots. So you connect another GPU riser here, here, and here. So 4 plus 3, you have 7 GPUs connected. Um, so the price of the 1 to 4 is about $22.99, about $23. And if you want to split it, you can split the other time fixing slot into 2. You cannot split that one into 4. You can split it into 2. But that is a little bit costly and you want to save some money. And uh, what you can do is, since the other ones are the regular PCIe 3 and they're not PCIe 4, you don't want to split those, uh, the other three. You split the first one into four and you use the other three regularly and you have seven GPUs connected. And in order to uh, save some money and not get another splitter, what you can do is, you can get a um, NVMe to PCIe um, extension. So what this does is you connect this the NVMe and the motherboard right here, and then you connect your riser to the USB. This way, what happens is that you're adding another GPU and you have an eight GPU rig. And what does that? Uh, you have another GPU connected, a GPU rig, but uh, depending on the quality of the extension NVMe to PCIe that you get, maybe your hash rate will be compromised a little bit by one or two. So for example, if you connect the RX 6600 XT and you overclock it and you have 32 hash rate on the other one, uh, you connect it through the NVMe, you get like 31 hash rate, which for me, that's not a big deal. But always, always make sure that you have enough power to supply through your risers and through your uh, motherboard and through your graphic cards. Uh, 
and for 8 GPU RX 6600 at least you need 1600 watt power supply uh, to be safe I think that uh, just make a 7 rig GPU or a 6 rig GPU and what I personally do with this motherboard is that I make a 6 rig GPU where I split the first slot into 4 GPU I have 4 GPU and then the next two I add two other GPUs where I have 6 GPU and for the last PCIe slot what I do is I connect an um, internal Wi-Fi card so I get a strong Wi-Fi signal instead of getting Wi-Fi through USB that's one option and another option that is where I have only RX 6600 I have a 7 GPU uh, with this uh, motherboard and I get Wi-Fi through USB because RX 6600 uh, overclocked for me uses 60 watt so uh, 7 of them uh, use approximately about 500 watts and I use 1300 EVGA gold power supply and since I'm using gold power supply I don't want to overload the GPU uh, the power supplies and the GPU too much that's what I do but overall for most of my rigs I just use this motherboard as a 6 rig GPU with an internal Wi-Fi card and the reason I show the NVMe is for people who don't want to spend maybe a, another motherboard and they want to have 8 GPU and I wanted to show theoretically with this motherboard you can have 8 GPUs connected to it if you have any questions feel free to comment below other than this thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day